It's been five days since Donald Trump won the US presidential elections. But cryptocurrencies led by Bitcoin are not pausing to breathe. The virtual currencies, a favorite of Donald Trump and his biggest current cheerleader, Elon Musk, have been hitting new high every day. If crypto is going to define the future, I want to be mined, minted and made in the USA. It's going to be. It's not going to be made anywhere else. And if Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon. I want America to be the nation that leads the way. And that's what's going to happen. No, you're going to be very happy with me. You're going to be so happy. Bitcoin is the world's biggest and best-known cryptocurrency, has now more than doubled from the year's low of $38,505. Its recent rise began on the 4th of November and since then, in just a week it has surged more than 20% to hit an all-time high of $81,899. According to data from the coin market cap, Bitcoin currently has a market cap of $1.6 trillion more than the GDP of countries like Spain, Saudi Arabia and Singapore. Ethereum is up 26% since election date. Solana is also up 26% with the market cap hitting $96 billion. Dogecoin, a virtual currency favoured by Elon Musk, is up 85% in just five days. People are looking for alternatives to the US dollar. Mm -hmm. And they have not been able to find it in other currencies because whether it's the Chinese currency or the euro, they face even bigger problems than America does. So the default option for them have been two. One is gold and second has been uh, Bitcoin and crypto as alternative asset classes. So I think that's what's going on because, because remember a lot of people also who were bullish on crypto said that, that this would replace gold. Instead, gold has done equally well this year or almost as well as crypto has done. Investors are betting on the red wave across the United States of America to turn the global fortunes of cryptocurrencies. What is driving the rally are expectations of a deregulation which could ease some of the scrutiny by US Securities and Exchange Commission, whose head Trump has said he will fire. The cryptocurrency industry, which spent around $120 million backing pro-crypto congressional candidates and has by and large succeeded. Pro-crypto candidates from both the Democratic and Republican parties won in Michigan, West Virginia, Indiana, Alabama and North Carolina. The new administration is also likely to be accompanied with higher ETF inflows into cryptocurrencies. The recent rate cut by the US Federal Reserve will also help steer investors toward the cryptos. However, experts feel that cryptocurrencies will not achieve their full value till they're not used as a currency. One, that crypto has lasted much longer than what the bears had said. Two, the price has done very well. The only negative about crypto and Bitcoin, I'll say so far, is that a lot of people thought that this could be used in transactions. Mm -hmm. That's not happening. That, you know, Do you see that change? Uh, I, no, I'm not seeing any sign of that. So it's become an asset class. But as a transaction uh, medium, crypto really hasn't uh, picked up. Uh, so I think that's been the one disappointment. But broadly, it's been there. So I think that these are alternatives to the dollar which are building quietly and slowly. But more as an asset class, as a transaction use, crypto has still not gained much currency. US President-elect Donald Trump had announced in September that along with his sons and entrepreneurs, he will launch a digital currency platform named World Liberty Financial. It had a poor launch earlier this month, with only a fraction of its tokens that went on the market finding a buyer. Pure Report Business Today Television.